All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So the LR Great Saiyaman 1 and 2 Extreme Challenge campaign has officially arrived on Global. And in today's video, we're going to check out all the details and see exactly what's going on. So starting from the top here, it says LR Blazing Love and Burning Justice. Great Saiyaman 1 and 2 can be extremely awakened through the Extreme Z area. That will be available starting from November 24th, which is Wednesday, Pacific Standard Time. So we are about two weeks away from the release of the event. In addition, extreme challenge special missions that allow you to obtain Dragon Stones and other rewards will also be available. Moreover, you can get 20,000 friend points upon the first login during the event period. Okay, so... I'm not sure why they highlighted that because it doesn't seem like a lot of friend points. Obviously, they are a friend point or friend summon at large, so you do need friend points to summon for copies. But um, they could have given us more friend points, let's be honest. But okay, 20,000 friend points for first login. Raising the characters who can attempt, or sorry, raise the characters who can attempt the upcoming Extreme Z area and get ready for the LR Great Sam at 1 and 2 Extreme Z area. Awakening. Uh, LR Great Saiyan 1 and 2 can transcend the limit once again. Get ready for the Extreme Z Awakening. Um, let's see. Burning or Blazing Love and Burning Justice. Great Saiyan 1 and 2 is the LR form of Hero of Justice. Transformation complete. Great Saiyan 1 and 2 who can be recruited from the Friend Summon. So there you go. They are a Friend Summon unit. The uh, 20,000 Friend Points will be sent to your gift box. Okay, very nice. Only characters related to. Oh, this is important. Okay, so only characters related to the Extreme Z area, Hero Extermination Plan, can attempt the Extreme Z area, Blazing Love and Burning Justice, and the characters have to fulfill certain conditions. So here is a list of all the characters you are allowed to bring on the event. And as you can see, they're basically just all units that can be Extreme Z awakened through the Hero Extermination Plan Extreme Z area event. Um, I'm missing quite a few of these, not because I don't have them, but more so because I never took the time to token awaken these guys, like these ones specifically, because um, they weren't very good units. But with the Extreme Z Awakenings, they become pretty solid, and you do need them. I mean, I do have enough to like form a team, but I'm definitely going to get at least a few of these guys done, like the uh, SDR Vegeta, the Majub, and some other units, because they will be more effective against the uh, Great Sandman 1 and 2 Extreme Z area, but there you go guys. Basically, for the next two weeks, the idea is that you want to at least Extreme Z Awaken 6 units from this list, so you have a proper team to take on the uh, LR Great Sandman Extreme Z area event, right? So, um, the condition for these units is that they all have to have undergone the final step of Extreme Z Awakening, so anybody you bring on your team to challenge the event has to be fully Extreme Z Awakened from that list, all right? And then uh, we have uh, six Extreme Z Awakenings that are happening over the course of the next two weeks. So starting with the Stunning Power Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta and Proof of tr uh, Tough Training Super Saiyan Goku can be Extreme Z Awakened with the Awakening Medals obtained from Stage 13 and Stage 14 of Extreme Z Area Hero Extermination Plan, which will become available starting from 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on November 10th, which is today, which is right now, and those would be this uh, STR Vegeta and also this HL Goku. Now, it did talk about exactly what they did in an earlier video, but for the purpose of this video, I think I'm just going to quickly go over the EZA details for each of these units, okay? So, uh, let me just make this go away real quick. Okay, so starting with the Vegeta, after Extreme Z Awakening, Leader skill will be Tech, S, Tier, and Fist types, keep plus 3, HP, Attack, and Defense plus 80%, Super Attack, Supreme Damage, and Raises Attack for 3 turns, and then Passive is Attack, and Defense plus 100%, plus an additional Attack, and Defense plus 8% each time Ki rises by 1, up to 80%, and the additional boosts are calculated separately, so you're actually getting up to 260% Attack, and Defense when you get 10 or more Ki, which is very impressive. And uh, also the Goku here, Leader Skill Super Saiyan's Category Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 77%, or AGL Tech and SDR Types Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 
Uh, super attack raises attack and defense for one turn and causes supreme damage. And passive is attack and defense plus 100%, attack and defense plus 70%, and all allies keep plus 3, and attack and defense plus 30% when HP is 50% or more. Defense plus 200% and high chance of guarding all attacks when HP is 49% or less. So that is the Goku and the Vegeta that are getting Extreme Z Awakenings uh, for stages 13 and 14, which is once again right now. And uh, later on, hold on, let me just get this back here. So later on, uh, we'll be getting Extreme Z Awakenings for the Technique versus Strength Super Saiyan 2 GT Goku and also the Powers Combined Majub, which is going to be stages 15 and 16, and that's coming out on 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on November 17th, so next Wednesday. That, of course, would be this AGL Super Saiyan 2 GT Goku, and also this STR Majub. So, for their details, starting with the GT Goku here, leader skill will be all types key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 60%, super attack raises attack and defense and causes supreme damage so he is an infinite stacker, and then passive is attack and defense plus 150%, key plus 3 plus an additional attack and defense plus 40% for 4 turns after performing a super attack. And then for the Majub, uh, leader skill is all types, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 60%, super attack raises attack and defense for 1 turn, causes supreme damage, and lowers attack, and passive is attack and defense plus 120% plus an additional attack and defense boost by up to 80%. The more HP remaining, the greater the stats boost. Attacks effective against all types when HP is 80% or more. Randomly changes key spheres of a certain type to rainbow key spheres. And finally, for the uh, last uh, set of Extreme Z Awakenings, we have the Gifted Warriors Exaltation Super Saiyan Vegeta and the Vanguard Warriors True Value Super Saiyan 2 Gohan for stages 17 and 18, and that's dropping on the same day that the Extreme Z area for uh, the LR Great Saiyan Man 1 and 2 drops on November 24th at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And that, of course, is the uh, uh, Fizz Super Saiyan 2 Teen Gohan and also the Fizz Super Saiyan Vegeta. So. Starting with the Gohan, leader skill, all types key plus 3, oh sorry, that's the pre-extreme Z awakening. After EZA, all types key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 60%, super attack greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes supreme damage, and passive is attack and defense plus 100%, all allies key plus 2, attack and defense plus 35%, medium chance of performing a critical hit, and medium chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks starting from the turn in which the character has performed a third super attack. And for the uh, Vegeta, leader skill is AGL, Int, and Fizz types. HP attack and defense plus 80%. Uh, super attack causes supreme damage and greatly lowers defense. And passive is attack and defense plus 120%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 40%. When performing a super attack, attack enemies, attack and defense minus 40%. And uh, there you have it, guys. Those are the six Extreme Z Awakenings we're going to be getting for the next couple of weeks uh, during the preparation period, I guess. And uh, let's see if there are any other details that are worth covering here. So um, it says, details on the above characters, Extreme Z Awakenings, will be introduced in the related events announcements. But of course, you guys don't need that because... You have me, and we just went through all of the Extreme Z Awakening details, so uh, if you guys don't want to do all of them, then just pick and choose the ones that you feel like would be best for you, for your team, and uh, just go with those guys, right? And uh, as far as the event details go, we have two events, so obviously we have the Extreme Z area for the LR Great Saiyan Man 1 and 2 to get their Extreme Z Awakening medals, and that's coming out once again on November 24th at 4pm Pacific Standard Time. And then we have the Extreme Z area for Hero Extermination Plan, where you can Extreme Z Awaken all the units you need to take on the, uh, you know, first Extreme Z area event. And uh, that's, I think it's actually a permanent event, isn't it? I think it is. I could be wrong. But either way, it's uh, releasing new stages over the course of the next two weeks for the preparation period. And uh, I guess that's everything else. But that covers everything that this news release um, has to offer 
Let me just make sure I'm not missing anything here before we go. Uh, check the corresponding announcement for more information on the Extreme Z area. Oh, times are listed in Pacific Standard Time. Okay, and we hope you continue to enjoy playing. In Continue to enjoy playing Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. So, there you have it, guys. Um, I don't think there's anything really... Uh, or anything else to cover here, just to make sure we got everything. Um, yeah, that is the Extreme Challenge campaign for the LR Great Saiyan Man 1 and 2. Um, if you guys are behind, if you guys still need to Extreme Z Awaken at least 6 of these guys, then definitely make sure you do that. Um, of course, there are two that are pretty big uh, that you should be doing just because they're SDR units, right, against the Fizz uh, Great Saiyan Man 1 and 2. So that would be, of course, the Vegeta, and also the Majub will be extra effective. But uh, as long as you're not bringing, like, the Int guys, uh, I think you should be okay because a lot of these guys are, you know, quite um, good with their Extreme Z Awakenings. I mean, the first couple are kind of meh, but as you get, like, past... Uh, like the Majin Vegeta, the, the Boo, um, the Kaioken Goku, like all these guys are pretty good. And also the new Extreme Z Awakening is coming up. So just pick six of those and uh, I would say you're good to go. So that's it guys. That is going to do it for today's video. Um, I was going to say something else, but I forgot now. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Uh, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger. With Tiger, Uppercut Media, signing out.